time here and now on your name. My name? Yes, ma'am. Your regnal name. Queen, queen, queen. And that is the name you will take as queen. Let's not overcomplicate matters unnecessarily. My name is Elizabeth. Then long live Queen Elizabeth. I realise Matt Smith was in this. I'm upholdly more yes. interested now that the doctor's I'm in lonely. it. I do. And I was interested before. Which is why it's so important to have the right person by your side. You Simply because the this is not the job. Let's go to cool castle. She is the job. Loving her, protecting her. She is the essence of your duty. It's it's all I've read about it so far is like it's the most um, money spent on a TV show, like even more like Game of Thrones and shit. Yeah, that's true. If you don't mind, the crown takes precedence. You don't think I would have preferred to grow up out of the spotlight? Yes, Corgis! Visibility. This son just lay down the law. I know he's Winston Churchill and all that, but remember who you are. You're Nobody. the Queen of England. This new Elizabethan age comes at a time when mankind stands on the edge of catastrophe. You my wife or my queen? I am both, and a strong man will be able to kneel to both. I will not kneel before my wife. But your wife is not asking you to. But my queen commands me. Yes. I beg you make an exception for me. No. Fucking Jesus. Looks beautifully shot though, doesn't it? What kind of family? And if you've got a 4K TV, like I do, it'll look amazing. I am aware. Because Netflix has everything in 4K, all their original shows. Well, at least from a certain point. Strong people with powerful characters, but for better or worse, the crown has landed on my head. I have seen. I'm sold on this. I, I going in, I was like, reading premise. I'm like, eh, eh. Seeing the cast in this trailer now, I'm up. I'm really interested, especially since it'll probably only be like ten episodes. Yes, I'm. I really like. Honestly, I was like, "Oh, a movie about the Queen." I'm sure that'll be um, interesting. I'm not saying you can't not make in interesting movies about the Queen and uh, you know all that inside of um, England over there, but uh, they're not always going to be interesting. And the general premise itself is not an interesting premise. Um, there are some premises you can take for movies and TV shows and they're just always not going to be uh, interesting by themselves and it just depends what you do with it. And this isn't... This doesn't look to be a... pompsby little... You know, kind of show where you're watching. You're like, yes, they made it for... I, I think the money does help because it looks good and they've got the talent and... It's not just going to be a bunch of people sitting around in rooms complaining about stuff that you can't relate to. It looks like they're trying to make... Um, and maybe, maybe, maybe there's a side to this that people are getting all crabby about like, oh, they're trying to humanize the queen too much. Oh, they're trying to, you know, humanize this side stuff. And maybe people don't like that. Um, personally, I think it's great because it helps the, sh uh, the show be more interesting. If you, if you, if you try and make, and by this, I mean, I know I'm trying to gibberish a lot and it's because I can't think of what I'm trying to say, but it, what I mean <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ! Is if they, um... So, if they... They made her... Straight down the narrow. What everyone thinks she's like. And then try and make her... Maybe they take some bows. Like, liberty in storytelling is what I'm trying to say. What a load of gibberish I just said. I'll not cut any of that out. I'll not cut anything. This is how we roll. We will not cut any of that. I'm talking about liberty in storytelling. Liberty in character. So it looks like they could be, and I don't know, looks like they could be taking some liberty in the characters in this. And which people get annoyed about in true story stuff sometimes because they're like, well, this never happened. I never really liked that. Um, I'm usually actually okay with it in movies because if you can take a little bit of liberty and make someone a bit more interesting and, um, for the viewer, 
going into a movie because it's not documentary. If you want to change some, a, a few things here and there um, in a movie that's or a TV show that's supposed to be based on a true story to make it more interesting for me, make the characters more interesting, I'm all for it because it's not a documentary and I'm all for it. In a documentary, obviously, you can't change facts because it's a documentary. That's completely different. But if they're trying to make the characters more relatable in this, because no one in the world's going to relate to this. If you just made it about a, oh, you know that, you know how every girl grows up and like has to be queen all of a sudden? Doesn't that suck for you guys? No one's going to relate to that. You're going to make them a bit more relatable. And if you're going to, if you're going to add in scenarios and situations that may or may not happen, I'm not saying they, they, this could all be true. I'm just a little bit here. Then this is the way to do it. I'm really interested in this. The crown. I don't know when does this come out. If we click play again, does it have a release date? November fourth. Nice. So we've got you get to watch Luke Cage at the end of this month. I don't know. I don't think anything interesting comes out of Netflix in October that I know of. Not that I can think of. And then November fourth, we can check out this one together, guys. It's the crown. It's probably ten episodes. Does it say how many episodes are here? Nope. It just says Netflix original series. Anyway, the crown. Uh, let's check that out together. November 4th. Double thumbs up for this trailer.